Rhodocetus, from Rondo, the geological anticline at the type locality, and Cetus, Latin for whale, is an extinct genus of protoceted early whale known from the Lutian of Pakistan. The best known protoceted, Rhodocetus, is known from two partial skeletons that taken together give a complete image of an Eocene whale that had short limbs with long hands and feet that were probably webbed in a sacrum that was immobile with four partially fused sacral vertebrae. It is one of several extinct whale genera that possess land mammal characteristics, thus demonstrating the evolutionary transition from land to sea. Throughout the 1990s, a close relationship between cetaceans and mesonychids, an extinct group of cursorial, wolf-like ungulates, was generally accepted based on morphological analyses. In the late 1990s, however, cladistic analyses based on molecular data clearly placed cetacea within the artiodactyla near the hippopotamus. One of the diagnostic characteristics of artiodactyls is the double pulley astragalus, heel bone, and paleontologists, unconvinced by the data from the labs, set themselves out to find archaeocete single pulley heel bones. Hind legs from three archaeocete species were recovered within a few years, among them those of Rhodocetus bellicus denensis, and all three had double pulley heel bones, thus settling the cladistic controversy. Through a principal components analysis, Gingerich 2003 demonstrated that Rhodocetus had trunk and limb proportions similar to the Russian Desmond, a foot powered swimmer using its tail mainly as a rudder. From this, Gingerich concluded that Rhodocetus was swimming mostly at the surface by alternate strokes of its hind feet, and that it was insulated by fur rather than blubber, as are Dorodon in modern cetaceans which made it buoyant and incapable of deep diving. The holotype of Arcus Rani, GSPUM 3012 found in 1992, was described by Gingerich ET8L 1994, a cranium with two dentaries, most of the vertebral column as far as the anterior tail, C2C7, T113, L16, S14, CA14, most rebs, parts of the sternum, both hip bones, and a left femur. Gingrich ETAL 1994 referred to specimen collected in 1981, GSPUN 1852 two denaries with teeth, to Arcus rani. Derived traits in Arcus rani, relative to older Archaeocetes such as Pachycetus, includes high crown cheek teeth, larger auditory bully, larger mandibular foramen, and mandibular canals. The higher neural spines and shorter femur, 60 to 70 percent, distinguishes Rhodocetus from the more primitive Ambulocetus. The convex posterior surface of the exoccipital, shorter cervical vertebrae, and unfused sacral vertebrae distinguishes Arcus rani from Indocetus. In contrast to later Archaeocetes such as Protocetus and later cetaceans, Rhodocetus retains external nares above upper canines, high neural spines on anterior thoracic vertebrae, and four sacral vertebrae with sacroiliac joints similar to those in land mammals, suggesting a hip joint that could support the body weight. Several cranial features identifies Arcus rani as an archaeocete, both the premaxillae and the dentaries are elongated, the frontal shield is wide, and the nuchal crest is high. The auditory bulli are large and dense but, there are no associated pterygoid fossae or air sinuses. The mandibular foramina are large with a pan bone 90 mm, 3.5 in, long and 65 mm, 2.6 in, high. The specific name Cus rani comes from Kais rani, the Baloch tribe inhabiting the type locality. The protoceted Kaiseracetus is also named after them. The fossil remains of Arbalakist denensis were found in eastern Balakistan, Pakistan in 2001 by Philip Gingerich. Dating from about 47 million years ago, they are one of a series of recent discoveries, including the Pakacetids, which have thrown considerable light on the previously mysterious evolutionary origin of whales. The holotype of Rhodocetus Balakist denensis, GSPUM 3485, is a weathered brain case found at the surface next to a partial dentary with an unfused mandibular symphysis, a characteristic of protocetids. Large parts of the axial skeleton including cervical, thoracic, and proximal caudal vertebrae, but excluding sacral vertebrae. Forelimb material including the left distal humerus, radius, and ulna, and two virtually complete hand skeletons including all carpal bones, unfused and lacking an OS central, and phalanges. Parts of the pelvis including an acetabular rim. High limb material including right femur, patella, tibia, possible partial fibula, two virtually complete foot skeletons including tarsal and metatarsal bones and phalanges. The astragalus, heel bone, is characteristic of artiodactyls with a deep tibial trochlea restricting lateral movements in a large calcaneal tuber, posterior part of heel bone, providing leverage for powerful extension. 
The metatarsals and phalanges are very long and thin and cannot have been weight-bearing, suggesting that Rhodocetus was predominantly aquatic and on land must have walked on the plantar surface of the tarsals. The shape of the metatarsal and phalanges reveal that these bones could be tightly compressed during flexion and widely separated during extension. The five fingered hand of Arbalicus tenensis is mesaxonic, i.e., has a central digit, with three width bearing central digits equipped with nail like hooves, flanked by two more slender digits lacking hooves, distal phalanges preserved on first, second, and fourth digits. The four toed foot is baraxonic, i.e., central axis passes between the two central digits, with all four digits ending in pointed nails. Distal phalanges preserved on second and third digits. Dot with an estimated body weight of 450 kilograms 990 pounds, Arbalicus tenensis was 13% smaller than Arcus rani, 590 kilograms 1,300 pounds, but its femur is larger. Equals 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 sources equals equals equals.